Greg Ledbetter with PS Engineering. We're actually conducting this interview through the new PAR 200 radio. Tell us some of the features of, of what we're talking through here. Sure, well, it's a, it's a four-place stereo intercom. It has the uh, air patent and Intellivox, which is the auto squelch. Um, the Intellivox was a feature that we added to the audio panels years ago. It stopped you from fiddling with the squelch controls when you have dissimilar headsets. Now it, it samples the noise in the microphone and sets the trip level for you, so it makes it much better seamless feature to have for the Intellivox. The audio panel itself, and I say is four, four play stereo. It does have a volume control for the overall intercom volume, has a volume control for the music. It is an audio panel, so you can wire in two comms. Fortunately, one of the comms is actually a remote comm that we provide, and it can be wired either, either as COM1 or COM2. Uh, another feature it has on, you can actually listen to the monitor frequency uh, just by selecting one of the buttons on the front panel, and it kicks on the monitor. The box itself also controls the frequencies and the megahertz and kilohertz on the right-hand side. You can also adjust the volume of the radio by just selecting that button. It also has an overhead speaker, so if you're in the aircraft and before the flight, if it's hot in the airplane, you don't want to put your headset on and get all hot right. and sweaty. You can just kick the audio up on the speaker, so that's kind of nice to have. How unusual is it to have the comm radio built into the audio panel, and what does that do for the pilot? Well, we're actually the first company ever to have the intercom audio panel and the remote head radio built into the panel. So uh, it is very rare, but it's, it's a nice feature to have. Uh, I think what it does, it helps save space, and it saves money and, um, and weight. So you don't have to have all the traditional audio panel than radio radio. You can have your audio panel and on radio, then you can blind mount this in the back. Now, this is also Bluetooth enabled, which allows you to make phone calls, listen to music, and a whole lot of things that will make your long cross-country flights a little bit more pleasant. It is. It's really easy to pair up the phone, allows you to stream the music, make phone calls. You hear the ringer of the phone in your headset, so it makes it nice for everybody now. Uh, what makes this a little bit different is most of your head, a lot of your headsets also have Bluetooth, but that just puts music and phone on one headset. Right. This allows music and phone to all headsets. And you can configure on the front panel to have pilot only, pilot, co-pilot only, or everybody on the phone. Do you have somebody you can make a call and show us how it works? I probably can. Let me see here. I'm going to call somebody. Actually, I'll show you how the music works first. Okay. Stream a little music. So this music is streaming from your iPhone? It's streaming from my iPhone, and right now I have it configured for the mute mode where nothing mutes the music. So we, either we speak or ATC comes across and music is just playing in the background. Also have configured where mute will be on. So anytime we speak or ATC comes across, it will right. mute the music. We also have one that's called radio mute. So whenever we speak, music will not mute, but if ATC TC comes across, it will mute the music. And then the last mode we have is ICS. So whenever we speak, it mutes the music, but the ATC will not. So okay. we have every possible mode you can have for the muting, and uh, it seems to be a nice feature people like. But to make a phone call, all I have to do, let me see here. First turn off the rock and roll. It'll automatically do it for you. Okay. I'm gonna call airport weather. Music goes away. And right now, we're both on the phone. Right. Sure. One seven Celsius. Two point one three Celsius. So we no. could both be talking to whoever that was Absolutely. on the phone. Absolutely. Remarks. And whenever I hang up, our music will come back. Excellent. So, Greg, tell us what the unit costs, what the installation procedure is like, and how does somebody get this into their airplane? Okay, the cost of the uh, PAR 200 is $25.95. It is a tso intercom, an audio panel. So what you would go is go to your avionics shop and just ask them to price it out. But the installation is pin compatible with other audio panels that are on the market. So whether it be one of ours or a competitor's, you can slide it out, slide this one in, and you just have to wire in the radio. And it goes in a standard rack space? It does. Well, Greg Ledbetter from PS Engineering, thanks very much for taking some time. I had no idea what to do to my with my hands during this interview, so <laughs> it was a lot of fun. But thanks very much for showing us the PR. Well, well, thank you, too. We'd like to thank all of our, uh, our, our fan, loyal fans through the years. That's, that's made what PS Engineering is, and uh, we will continue to make audio panels and make features and functions that everybody wants. Aero TV is brought to you by...
Redbird Flight Simulations is dedicated to revolutionizing flight training by designing, manufacturing, and delivering affordable and innovative flight training technologies. Each Redbird device is designed to enhance the training experience for pilots of all levels, from student to ATP. Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration.